Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video, man. And in this video, we have a funny kind of article here um, coming out of like Australia. So it says brothel offers free sex session to patrons who get the COVID vaccine on site. So I'm just going to go ahead and read just a little bit of the New York Post article just to give you guys like a quick one minute synopsis. So an Australian brothel has devised an ingenious way to incentivize people to get the coronavirus vaccine by offering promised patrons a free fling with a prostitute of their choosing if they get immunized at the bordello. <clears throat> we are very popular, Christopher Leilarcher, director of the Fun Palace in Vienna, told Reuters on the enticing new initiative, which they created in response to the recent government mandate, barring the unvaccinated from restaurants and other indoor areas amid an infection spike last week. The measure known as 2G had reportedly caused a 50% dip in the number of clients at the brothel. And so um, to help stem the financial hemorrhage, Fun Pals is offering the COVID jab every Monday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. through the end of November. Best of all, men who get inoculated on site will be gifted a free 30-minute session in the Scam Merchants VIP Club with the lady of their choice. Excuse me. Think of it as a sexy nurse role-playing scenario, but with actual medical care. Then it says here, I'm skipping down a little bit. Um, boys as young as 14 are reportedly allowed access to the clinic, provided they have an adult with them, while women are also being encouraged to head to the fun palace for a coronavirus shot. Since the 2G rule, vaccinated or recovered, has been in place, there's been a real rush to get vaccinated, said um, Lascaris. We have had a lot of people come in today to get vaccinated. One patron says here, I would have gotten vaccinated anyway, but the 2G rule has certainly accelerated things a little, said one satisfied vaccine recipient known as Gerhald, surname withheld. And since an acquaintance of mine organized this action, I thought, let's go for it. He added, I think this is perfectly OK because we can achieve a better immunization rate this way. And that's necessary to end the pandemic at some point. So they say that the company's initiative will help the country achieve the 70 percent to 75 percent vaccination rate. According, wait, it's, uh, 70 to 75% vaccination rate required for herd immunity. Currently, only 63% of Australians have received the jab. Fortunately, thanks in part to the new 2G restrictions, doctors have already administered 213,000 coronavirus jabs this week. Um, and Fun Palace isn't the first organization to offer perks for the inoculated in a much less sexy, intensive program on this side of the pond. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf offered state employees five days of paid leave if they got the vaccine at the city run site. All right, man. So out in Australia, Vienna, you have this brothel saying, OK, if y'all come in, men and women, 14 and up to come get vaccinated on our site, we'll give you 30 minutes of pleasure with a man or a woman of your choosing. Now, just off rip, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. They're now gone so far and they've gotten so desperate to get people vaccinated that we now have brothels where prostitutes, basically just whorehouses, coming together to vaccinate people on site at the brothel. And once you're done, you get a 30 minute free session with one of the prostitutes. Yo, if someone would have told me in 2019 that this would be a thing, I would have laughed and laughed and laughed. And I'm still laughing now because this is so funny. And now one dude is like, oh, yeah, I'm all for it. You know, since they implemented these rules and regulations, I was going to get vaccinated anyway. But this is just basically the icing on the cake. I went ahead and got through and I'm just a satisfied customer of this brothel. Now, this isn't the first place to offer, you know, initiatives or 
extra little perks and rewards for getting vaccinated. At one point, New York was offering free joints and free weed to people who got vaccinated. Then I saw that they were offering food and different things like that. Then they were putting people into the lottery so that way they would be able to win the lottery if they could. Then I saw they were giving away $100 gift cards for people to be vaccinated. And it's like, bro, the people who haven't been vaccinated now are not trying to get vaccinated. Now, what has actually happened for this vaccine stuff? Because we're off this story. I just thought that was crazy to say. But what has happened now is you had the wave of those who've been vaccinated. Then you had the wave of the incentives to try to convince those who were like, I don't know if I should get vaccinated or not to get vaccinated. Then you had the mandates, which was really like a you don't have a choice. Stop thinking for yourself. You need to go get vaccinated. You had those people who then got vaccinated because they felt the pressures. Now we're back to, well, we've gone as dra draconian as we can. The only thing left would be if you're not vaccinated, you're in, in, you're in a concentration camp. Oh, but Australia's already doing that as well. So it's like, hmm, we have to keep putting mandates down, even though we said, you know, we're going to let Australians be free. The, va the mandates are lifted. Now we saw that there's a COVID spike. Mandates are back down. So now we got to figure out. If we lied to them telling them that it's over and now we're back, how can we get them to be vaccinated? You know what? We're going to offer free sex because people, if they still don't want the vaccine, maybe they want to go have an orgasm. So we're going to give them some sex to try to get them vaccinated. And to be honest, if you're addicted to lust, if you want to follow your own pleasures, then you'll go be vaccinated just like this person did. They went and got back. They were like, I don't know. I was going to go get vaccinated anyway due to the new rules. And it's like, hmm, COVID's been around. You guys have been on lockdown for months with the strictest rules in Australia. And now after they lift the mandates and then put this 2G mandate back down, now you're saying you were going to get vaccinated all along, but it's like even through the most strenuous and most draconian and authoritarian rules and regulations in Australia, you weren't vaccinated. But as soon as brothels are now offering a free 30 minute session with a woman of your choice, now it's, oh, now I want to be vaccinated. And you see how they're playing this game of like, they're not just. They're not just trying to give you like incentives of, of like that actually make sense. They're doing incentives that are based on like humans pleasure, humans emotions, humans well-being. We'll give you money, a hundred dollar gift card. We'll, we'll give you groceries. We'll put you in the lottery. We'll, we'll give you weed, a pleasure. We'll, we'll give you free sex, a pleasure. And it's like, does no does nobody have any sort of morals, maybe like any sort of conscience that this is weird. Like we keep being put into lockdown because they want this magical 70 to 75 percent vaccination. We've been in the pandemic for two years now and we still haven't reached that percentage. And now they're trying to play into our pleasures or play until we can't go to restaurants, or play until we can't do indoor activities just to get vaccinated. And now they're coming out with all these incentives to try to, I guess, tip the scale in the way of let me get vaccinated so I can do things. When I saw people were getting free weed in New York, I was like, the hippies and stoners are lost. They're, they're, they're lost. If, if you're going to let the government issue you free weed for you to get vaccinated, I have nothing else to say to you. For those who need a $100 gift card in this economy, that's about worth $20. I don't know what to say to you. For those who want to get vaccinated just to put their names into a lottery, bro, the likelihood of you winning a lottery is at such a low percentage. You're more likely, never mind, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there because that's too early of a joke. But you're more likely to probably be hit by lightning than to win the lottery for this. And now they're like, yo, you get a free 30-minute session. 
with any girl of your choosing. It's just like, bruh, when are people going to wake up and realize that this will not end until they say, I'm sick of listening. This is over. The pandemic's over. All the people have to do is rise up together, stand up, and say, we're going to come together, and we're not taking any more vaccine mandates, and we're not taking any more incentives, no matter what daddy government says. All the people in Australia have to do is just all collectively not listen to the mandates, be outside, and that's it. What is the government going to do? They'll throw their whole country into prison? Make the whole country in a, in, a, in a concentration camp? Like, no. When I sit here and I think about, and I'm just going to wrap this up real quick, but when I sit here and think about how America was founded, right? How the colonization, the, the 13 colonies were sick of Britain, sick of the tax rates that they were doing, sick of everything they were doing, the type of control, trying to be a dictatorship over them. What did the people do? They said enough is enough. They rose up, revolted against the government, tore that junk down, said, hey, we hitting y'all with the deuces. We hitting y'all with the middle finger. Here go the Declaration of Independence. Come fight us about it. Had the revolution. We fought. We won. And Americans picked up their bag. They hopped in their bag and they had their own country. So it's like, this is it's so simple for how this can actually change. It's like our founding father showed us the formula like, hey, yo, here the blueprint. And people are still just like, hmm, I don't know what to do. I guess, you know, I'll just be incentivized. I guess I'll just be mandated to death. It's like, yo, it's only over when you say it's over. But anyways, man, leave your comment down below on what y'all think. I'm just like at this point. If people are going to let them be incentivized for all their pleasures, all this money, all this, this, and this, and this, and this, it's like, yo, what's the point? Like, what's the point anymore of trying to convince anybody that, do you guys see what's going on? It's like the blind leading the blind, and I'm too aware to actually care anymore. I just bring this stuff to you guys' attention. We have a good laugh about it. I continue doing my thinking for myself, standing on my feet for freedom, talking about it, and I move on. I just let the sheep be the sheep, and yeah. Anyways, man, this has been your boy, Chad. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.